Welcome. I'm Ogan Garel, your host for In Time TV's Insights in Medicine. This is our inaugural show. We have a great show ahead of you, us, in the next hour with a fabulous guest. Let me tell you a little bit about Insights in Medicine. It will be covering bridging the clinical side, the scientific side, and the business side. Today we have uh, Dr. Uh, Anderson Hedberg, the former uh, president of the American College of Me uh, Physicians, and our focus today will be on the present and future of primary care. We have the distinct honor and pleasure of having Dr. Anderson Hedberg as our guest today. Dr. Hedberg has been one of our nation's foremost medical internists, having served not only as patients, but most recently in 2005-2006 as president of the American College of Physicians, uh, the leading organization, the second largest uh, physician organization with over 116,000 internists as well as medical students, a very influential organization, medical specialty organization. Uh, in that capacity, as well as throughout his career, he's had an influence over uh, general internal medicine in the nation, having testified it at Congress, and we'll talk about some of those uh, very interesting deliberations over the course of the next hour. He's also been involved extensively in academic medicine, having served on the faculty of the Rush University School of Medicine, directing the section on general internal medicine and serving as assistant chair of the Department of Internal Medicine. Dr. Hedberg, welcome. Thank you very much. Thank it's you. a pleasure to have you. Pleasure to be here. Right. Uh, perhaps you can fill in. Uh, I gave a whirlwind uh, introduction with a little bit about uh, your background from yourself and some of the, uh, the decision points in your very illustrious career, perhaps. Well, I don't know if there are many important decision points, but what I've enjoyed the most is taking care of patients. Mm -hmm. And I spent 40 years in practice and enjoyed uh, doing what we do, uh, applying the great science we have in medicine today uh, to the care of the patient. And getting to know my patients uh, in a primary care way, as we all know, that's a special way. And uh, getting to know them and uh, getting, uh, having the trust of my patients and enjoying meeting them and following them throughout their lives. Uh, and many patients I took care of for many years. So that any decision point I made uh, would, would come out of that experience. Uh, w one thing I did that was very uh, gratifying for me was to be uh, with the American College of Physicians uh, for many years and then eventually their president. And it gave me a chance to step back from the uh, doctor-patient relationship, which I treasure the most, and mm -hmm. try and apply some of the things I learned clinically and about people to the uh, global scene of internal medicine. And actually that brings up uh, one of the questions I've been reviewing uh, all your accomplishments. Let's start with a big topic and uh, focus on some of the, the more particulars from there. Uh, you gave a speech near the end of your uh, presidency at the American uh, College of Physicians entitled State of the Nation's Healthcare, where you highlighted uh, the importance of primary care in our nation's health. Perhaps stepping back a little further, uh, it's a hot topic, how would you characterize our nation's health care? 